Gender Selection, The Moral Truth by Brian Agnew For centuries there has been one sex that dominated the development of social society, laws, religion, and lifestyle all revolved around the idea that one sex, the male sex, was dominant. Oppressed and considered inferior, women would obey the men, forgo all rights, and accept all responsibility. Only recently, with the emergence of women's liberation movement, have both sexes been considered equal. For the first time in human history, both sexes have been given the chance to fulfill their potentials without discrimination. Parents, despite preferences of having a girl or a boy, have known that regardless, their child would have equal opportunity at life. Through cutting-edge technology, however, means that all of this can possibly change. The ability of parents to actually select the gender of their child could have not only devastating effects on society, but on the lives of so many children and parents. Whether parents have a girl or a boy, that has always been left up to nature to decide. To date, no one has dared interfere with the genetic workings of the body, mainly because of the technology did not exist to do so. Now, with the dawn of the 21st century, the technology has arrived and mankind is faced with a very important decision. Whether or not to play God. Men and women are both equals and they should be treated as such. Social equality for both sexes. Babies everywhere dislike gender selection and so should you. The, most people want to have the perfect family with two boys, two girls, or one boy, one girl. You know, a lot of young couples everywhere, they want the perfect family. People argue that also that gender selection may be used for sexist purposes. Uh, for example, they suggest that society, a society that prefers to have male children might wind up having a disproportionate number of men and even wind up seeing women as a failed result. Pregnant women in China and India are using ultrasounds as a means to determine the sex of their babies and whether or not they should abort their unborn child. China has already produced a very profound national imbalance with tens of millions of young men and now growing up without women to marry. They also argue that genetic manipulation of any sort is very natural against the laws of ethics. They may suggest that it reeks of genetic experiments uh, conducted even under the Nazis. In countries such as China and India, the ultrasound and amniostesis followed by abortion to avoid giving birth to girls is some and in some parts of rural India, where basic health care is hardly available, local cl clinics have sophisticated ultrasound machines used privately and illegally for sex selection. Such practices have skewed sex ratios in these countries. In China, in 2005, there were 32 million more men than women. The ethical implications of this new technology achievement are therefore complex in any cultural setting. While promising significant benefits from a medical perspective, it raises serious and social ethical concerns. Using it well rather than abusing it is the greatest challenge facing us in all these years to come. If gender selection continues, Serious problems may occur in our society.
if we don't draw the line between wants and needs in enough time, there will be no stopping people in the future to choose all the characteristics of their baby and create problems for the human race and promote inequality towards other genders. Gender selection is morally and ethically wrong and should be considered illegal like it is in the United Kingdom. There are certain cases where gender selection um, could potentially help the public and that's when uh, you run into situations where you know there's a genetic disease that only runs in uh, females or males in the family. In these particular cases I, I mean, it can be argued that it is for the it is for the best, and that it, it, these procedures should be allowed. But it's it's really comes down to, you know, you are playing God in a manner of speaking. You know, you, should should we be allowed to do that? Should we be allowed to tamper with, you know, science that much to where we're actually taking control over every little aspect of our life? I mean, it, it is what it is, but um, that's that's a that's a moral question you have to ask yourself. And um, you know, there are, there is good that can come out of gender selection, but I think there's more negative than positive. <clears throat> to create a predominantly male race and and to disregard uh, female babies and abort them is not right by any means. And you have to ask yourself, why is countries like China and India doing these things? Why do they want more men than women? Is it for their military? Is it for, you know, their work, production? I mean, wh what is it for? Why, why, why do they value men more than women? We're all equals and we should be treated as such. Thank you.